How do I know when it's time to clean my pool filter? Well, there's a lot of different kinds of pool filters on the market. You could have a diatomaceous earth filter or a cartridge filter or a sand filter. And so the exact information for what you should do really could change depending on your situation. However, for a lot of swimming pool filters, what you want to do is you want to clean your filter when the operational pressure increases by 7 to 10 PSI. Now you might have something like this if you had a cartridge filter, for example, where you have a green indicator and a red indicator. And what that would indicate is that green is your clean operational pressure and red is going to be about 7 to 10 PSI higher than that. And that would indicate the time at which you should service your system, open the filter and clean your filter elements. Now that's for a cartridge filter. And again, you could have something like a sand filter. Now the cleaning procedure is different. You would backwash a sand filter as opposed to opening it and cleaning the filter elements like you would with a cartridge filter or even similarly with a DE filter, opening it and cleaning the grids. With a sand filter, you would perform a backwash, which is essentially you send the water backwards through the filter. That effectively cleans all of the material that has accumulated on the surface of the sand filter. But what you need to remember is that you would know to do that when the system pressure has increased approximately 7 to 10 PSI more than your clean operational pressure. One thing to remember, this is very important, the maximum operational pressure that you should ever have for any swimming pool system is 30 PSI. So if your clean operational pressure is 25 PSI, like some swimming pool systems could be, you can't allow your system to go up another 10 PSI past that, because that would put you into the 35 range, and that is definitely too high. If you ever note your swimming pool system higher than 30 PSI, you should immediately turn off the pump and investigate that further. It could be that the gauges fail. That's something that happens pretty often. But if you do have a system in excess of 30 PSI, that's definitely in the danger zone for swimming pool equipment, and you would want to turn that off right away. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.